Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obadip Tato. This is Crusader Kings 2. Indeed, indeed, indeed it is. Uh, were we able to get a marriage with you? Uh, oh yeah, currently considering a range a betrothal. Betrothal? Betroth? Whatever. Uh, either way, let's call West Francia into it because we might as well. In addition to that, we are going to, of course, raise all of our levies. Uh, raise vassal levies, raise personal levies. Let's head you over here, get you to come over here. Uh, let's get everyone to come over there. In addition to that, we can actually afford to raise the tribal army twice. I'm going to wait a little bit before I do that. So I'm going to see what force uh, this enemy can muster. Okay, and also, you just accepted an offer to uh, get our kids engaged, or however the hell it works. You will accept my request for an alliance? Well then, you must come to war, my friend! You must come to war! Let's get you grouped up there. I have no idea how big the army he's gonna muster is, but mine will undoubtedly be bigger if I raise the tribal army. And again, 5,800. Does he want to do this? Do you really want to do this? I did not think that you would want to do that, you little piece of shit. Alright, let's net, let's get you not to go in there. Okay, let's get you to move out to here, take out a little, a nice little army first, uh, or not, I guess, if you just Want to be a little bitch about it. Perfect. And now you head back in here. Now you are heading to alt cults right now. I do want to engage here, but it would just be so unfavorable for us that I'm just not going to. Um, in the meantime, I'm just perfectly... Uh... Yeah, this guy's gonna die. Is it better for us to just disband this unit, actually? Yeah, I think we actually just straight up disband that unit, because otherwise, uh, shit would hit the fan. Uh, now, King of West France, yeah, I don't know if you have any boats, I don't understand how boats work, so I'm just gonna assume that you're not going to be able to help me out at all. Which is, I must confess, rather a shame. Um, we're going to get this guy to move into this area, because if I'm not mistaken, as an area for fighting, this area would be not favorable for us, but it would be not terrible. I don't really want to move into there. Yeah. Yeah, if they continue to siege out over there, then I think that th this is fine. Just the fact that we got two tribal armies off is amazing. Let's try and kill this little force before it gets anywhere. Uh, the wife has been spending a few days at Alt Cult. It has been a very nice experience meeting her. Maybe our peoples are not that different after all. Um, Chief Donal of Turconnell. Also, I look super old now. Uh... Suggest a non-aggression pact, if that's suitable for him. Who is this guy? Like, where the fuck does he does he reside? Is it like here? If this agreement can lead to better understanding between our people, I put effort. Okay, beautiful. Uh, we got a pact with this guy. I I don't understand where this guy is though. So I probably should understand that. This guy. Ah, okay, that guy. Perfect sense. I need to right-click and then go to location. That works a charm. Okay, he will be taking attrition, I think. So that's rather nice. Let's go and siege out um, Lothian, or what was Lothian. Because if we siege out Lothian, then that will force him back. And it will give me a little bit of war score. Plus it means that I can move right back in here. Uh, peace treaties are expiring, or the following truces are expiring. Uh, yeah, sure, I don't really care about that, though, that's, that's fine. 
Uh, also, we are currently at work trying to get rid of this bishop and replace him with someone who is a little bit more favorable towards us. We have a stack of 8,000 men here, so that is honestly very, very considerable. And I would consider to be uh, on course for success. I'm hopeful, and it looks like uh, it's working. It reached me that an ambitious adventurer is gathering men for some attack on my territory. I think of assassins. Adventurer threats. What the? Where is this guy from? Pause a second. From like fucking southern England? Really? 803 troops? I mean, his son will have even less than that, I'd imagine. He technically controls zero troops, so... Good luck with this adventure that you're going on, buddy, but I, I wish you well. I do indeed. Uh, we need to head on over here right now. I don't know if we'll actually get there before he does. Ah, we would have. We would have. So let's just head back. Okay, so the 19th of July. If we can head, like, now, we will arrive on the 19th as well as he does, so... Let's siege out this province then, I guess. Because there is not a chance that I'm gonna let this guy go. We've got him by the balls, and we're gonna keep on going. Uh, stewardship, let's work on stewardship, sure. Uh, take Tonos out of hiding. I think we can actually take him out of hiding because we... Well, actually, no. We should keep him in hiding. Yeah, we should keep him in hiding. Adventurer threats. He's targeting me in two years, so as long as we finish this, this mission up, uh, or this adventure up within two years, then that will be fine. Alright, come on. Whoa, what the fuck? Is this guy now at war with Northumberland? That's a problem. Because as much as I like having armies, I like being... I like being in control better. Great, we lose the trait flu. Do we just want to engage this chap? Maybe we just go for it. If we were to engage, how soon would we get there? 11th of September? I don't want to engage. I do not want to engage at all, actually. That's the West Francian army. Why does West Francia have troops over there? Oh! They have actually got a fleet. I do apologize. I completely misjudged you. West Francia, I thought you'd be useless. Let's head back to Strathclyde. As I say, we always want to be, make sure that we're, uh, we're in Strathclyde, because if we're not, then we risk it being open to attack. Now, let's head into Nofant, and we are going to get a negative modifier if he decides to move into there, but he doesn't decide to move into there, so that's fine. Let's just decide to move back. I feel that this may well be abusing the AI, the AI a little bit, and I think that this is why in EU4 they changed it. So once the AI get, once you get like halfway committed to making an attack, then you just like have to go ahead with the attack. We might not be able to make it there in time. Could be at risk. I'm starting to think that Tegla might fancy me. I will go to Tegla's chamber. Who is this Tegla? Is this... Who is Tegla? She's just a courtier? Do I have a wife right now? I do technically have a wife. Make a move.
and gave her a good rumble. It's good to be a king. <laughs> That's right. Just give her a good rumble. That's right. Let's move over here to Hunan, and then I'm in quite close proximity to all of the appropriate provinces. Let's let him get back on the mainland. This might be a bad idea, but whatever. Okay, is he actually willingly going to the Isle of Man? How long does it take him to get back there? 29th of December. My god. Is he actually going to do that? He's he's So he's actually just straight up trapped on this island right now. Wow. Okay. Um, let's create a new unit. Uh, okay, great. Let's select this unit and let's get this unit to just go around and fuck up a bunch of... Uh, a bunch of land because this the the AI will not engage me I don't think they'll engage me across that water and take a negative penalty for themselves so I'm pretty much just free to take the land that I want to take right now now this of course oh I want to make sure that you have a martial focus because that's pretty fucking good actually uh, now of course this does feel like a like a little bit of cheese but if the AI are gonna decide to backstab me and be dicks about it then that's fine what the fuck is West Francia doing over here? That's not a good move, so I would recommend that you don't do that, West Francia. It looks like my uh, my ally in um, in Northumbria is doing a jolly fine job as well, uh, and it looks like the uh, West Francian army is doing a fantastic job of fingers crossed patrolling around and uh, capturing all of the shit back. But this is good. This is really good. This is really good. Budget deficit. Uh, your coffers are empty and you owe your subjects money. The morale of your armies will suffer the longer this goes on. Uh, yeah, this is a little bit of a problem. I don't really know if I can take uh, a debt in any sense of the word. I would love to get money somehow. I could actually technically ask the Pope for money. Can I ask my friends in West Francia for a small loan of a million dollars? Not really. Yes, the morale of my, my armies may suffer, but that is the price that we that we pay for going to war. I'm afraid, chaps. My co-conspirator has assembled a party of mercenaries who will end. Uh, perfect. Approve the plan. Great. This is the bishop in Tyrone right now who's about to get fucked up. Pretty happy with that. Budget deficit. Yes, I know. It's not exactly great having to... Uh, success. The mercenaries ambushed the carriage and made short work of him. Unfortunately, the driver survived and saw through their disguises. My involvement is now public knowledge. I mean, I am... Ah, oh, that's great. I am going to die soon anyway, so I'm not really that worried about it. Uh, however, that does now mean... There is an open council position. And in addition to that, I need to make sure that my vassals all like me. Uh, this guy, Io de whatever his name is. Have we sent him a gift yet? I mean, we haven't actually sent him a gift yet. However, we can give him a seat on the council, which is lovely. I don't know how effective he's going to be, but he is now going to be the chap. So there you go. The marshal. He's, he's a marshal. Is considered an incompetent commander. Yes, we really need to work on that a little bit. We are we're rather incompetent at these things, I'm afraid. Rather incompetent. Uh died attending to chamber business. That sounds mischievous and rather suspicious, actually. Uh is there any way that we can just detach the siege? Hmm, not really. Uh, a daughter was born to Kirwino and, uh, and Tegla and was named Lily. Okay, so this is actually, that was the woman that I decided to sleep with, my courtier. It seems uh, my amorous adventures have resulted in a child. A little uh, Lyji is, is my spitting image. Legitimize her. Acknowledge her as mine. 
acknowledge her as mine. Uh, if she ever has any children, a new dynasty will be created for that line. Denounce the child. With full inheritance rights. I think we just acknowledge her as mine. I think that's the correct thing to do, right? Oh, and now we need to give her a... Oh, no, this is someone else. Uh, what are you good at? Stewardship? Uh, yeah, stewardship. There we go. I, I hate playing like this. This feels like a really cheesy strategy, right? But by golly, is it working? Is there any way that I can set uh, this province as allied order siege? No, I'll get him to siege this area. I'll get you to siege here. Maybe he'll decide to listen to me. It's worth a shot, right? Oh, you're moving out. That's uh, that's an encouraging sign. Obviously, the negative side of doing this is that it's going to take a hell of a long time. And it's costing us a hell of a lot of money. Which means that we are in a budget deficit, which kind of sucks, but hey-ho. Sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. He won't even take... The, the war is indecisive. Do you really think that the war is indecisive? If I was to enforce demands, he will lose money. I will gain prestige. I will not gain any land, though. That is rather troublesome, actually, because I do, I do want some, I, I do want some of his land. It is my mission to become king of Pictland. I cannot afford to pay my magistrates, so my debt to lower classes are dangerously high. Uh, the peasants are now completely regarding my divine right to rule. Yes, well, that is an issue. I will not dispute that. That is a real problem, and I'm trying my very best to fix this issue, but it's proving to be a rather problematic scenario. Uh, what's your issue? I'm a known murderer, and I'm dishonorable. Yes, that's it's not ideal. It's not ideal. Can we try to kill the Pope? Maybe that maybe that'll work. Get a favorable Pope in on the on the job. Uh, realm. There's no way that I can like borrow money, is there? Um. I don't really want to put any money onto anything. I don't want to increase taxes. I don't know how this is gonna work. Uh. Chance of becoming brave. She should do her own thing. Honest, intrigue, diplomacy, state of opinion, or rowdy. What does she do right now? She's actually a fairly well rounded person. Um, diplomacy. Sure, I'll give her. She should do her own thing. That seems like the right thing to do, right? Come on, we're 40% of the way towards this victory. We can't lose it now, and I have no idea. The more corruption... I know, it's really fucking bad. Also, in addition to that, we're about to get attacked by a dude. A dude who will want to adventure with us or whatever. Has been spending a few days. It has been a very nice experience meeting her. Maybe our peoples are not that different after all. We could be friends, yes. Uh, become bitter rivals. Oh, that's annoying. Does that make him not my favorite vassal? Has declared conquest of Strathclyde. Oh, good. This is the chap from down south, by the way. Just to make you aware. That's the chat from down there. Call in allies. Call in allies. You will, of course, honor your obligation. Look, I want a white piece, this fucker. Uh, he will take a white piece. He will accept my offer of white piece. 
if we could get a hundred war score, it might be worth getting it for the money. Like the money is good, right? If we do this, then we'll get all of our money back. Like I think at this rate, I don't think we can stop. I think we just need to go balls to the wall. I actually do. Okay. Let's see if we can try dual siege out two provinces at once. Have you finished sieging out this province? No, you're still sieging it out. How on earth, how many people do we need to siege this place? It's the garrison. 336. Total is 612. What's the numbers like here? 318. Okay, so it's pretty close either way. So we can afford to siege that one out. That's that's fine. We're almost done in two more places. We almost sieged out his entire country. It's not going to be enough, but it's going to be fucking close. This The whole issue of the budget uh, really troubles me. I do not like ever going into debt. It's just not something that you should ever get into in video games. Uh, this is the army of West Francia. Let's set this up as a siege location for you. And hopefully you'll head on up there. This is the army right here. The adventure, the questing adventurer's army. I hope he doesn't engage me. Because in all honesty, that would, that would fuck me up. That would fuck me up. Siege there, buddy. Means that you stay near as well. Okay. It's not exactly the fastest war. By golly. That's correct. But it is working. And we're getting ever closer. Okay. Uh, we'll get you to come across now. We're still a little bit off. The war is indecisive. Yeah, sure you. Sure it is. Sure it is. Uh, what the fuck is going on here? This is a massive throw if ever I saw one. When do I get there? 19th of November. Well, ladies and gents, we'll see what happens in the very next episode. But for now, my name, of course, has been Obed Potato. This has been Crusader Kings 2, Scotland the Brave. I'll see you then. Bye.